it going guys? Travis Nerdboy TV with another Let's Play series. This time we're going to be doing some Airport CEO. I have to admit I have played this previously personally uh, just because I enjoy the game. But I thought you guys would enjoy it so let's start it off and let's start a new airport. <laughs> see it so we're gonna go with it airport name ocean city international all right we're gonna name this ocean city international so let's do oci why not airport management we're gonna go easy because i'm not good at this Honestly, Airport CEO is actually a really fun game, so let's read this letter together. Hello, nerd. Thank you for our last meeting, and I hope you will like your new digs. I know it isn't much, but hopefully you'll do better than the last person who tried to build our town's proud airport. You've got a lot of hard work ahead of you, so you better get to it. I can't give you any tips because I really don't know how to run an airport, but let me remind you that you have a budget to keep, and we can count on you to get this place making a profit. Good luck, and we'll talk soon, I hope. Or, well, my people will send you a message. Here's the most important thing you need to know. Press tab to open up the menu. Uh, here you'll find everything. Use the manual panels. Press F1 for tips. Best of luck. Gregor Fonsworth Mayor. I've sent this message to your inbox as well so you don't uh, so you don't feel you got it lost. Too lost. Perfect. All right, so these are controls. Long story short, you'll see me tabbing through a bunch of these guys, but um, most of what we'll need will be either down here or over here. So hopefully we'll have what we need. Press F1 to close this panel. All right, so first things first, we need to go through. We can actually follow the, uh, the little guide that we have. So if we go to Tutorial, Small Airfield, the first thing they want us to do uh, is we have an operational contractor offload site because that was given to us right here. That's the little, uh, this is the offload site. We also need to have a, uh, or excuse me, this is the offload site. This is the delivery site. Uh, send a contractor. Economy contracts. Let's go to economy. Let's go to uh, offered contracts and uh, let's see, Berkeley or highway or HWI, I should say. These guys are get more and it's cheaper, so we're gonna be going through these guys. There we go. We got signed our. We gotta deploy all of our, our uh, contractors now that we signed the contract. So let's go ahead and let's see, it's operations, construction, operations, construction, and deploy them all because might as well, right? Wait for the contractors to arrive. All right, we will wait. All right, it looks like we have the uh, multiple buses coming in to drop off all of the contractors. These are all the contractors that are going to be working for us. Let's see if there's more with the tutorial now. 
Airside construction. Build a small runway. All right, so we need to build a small runway and then build two entryways. So let's come to, uh, I think it's aircraft infrastructure, small runway. All right, we do need to kind of zoom this out. That's where I think we're going to put it. And now I'll watch them build it. Once the items arrive, there we go. And they're going to go ahead and uh, start building my small runway right here. So let's go ahead and just watch them build the small runway. Alright, we well see here, make sure you have at least one exit and one entryway attached to the runway. So, this is our runway, and uh, I'm going to pause it here for right now, because there's no need. Uh, let's turn some of that audio down. Alright, so, we do need an uh, entryway and an exit, and because this runway is running this way, it means the planes are going to take off and land in this direction, going up. So, let's go ahead and uh, build our runway entryway and exit. Let's do, uh, let's do a medium for right now. We're going to put one there, there, one there. And one there. All right. So now that we have our exit, we can build our taxiway foundation. We'll do medium. I guess we'll do high quality. Why not? We'll resume the game so they can start building those once they arrive. I do want to see how big these aircraft stands are, the small ones. Because I want to build a couple of these to get the uh, airport flowing. That wasn't supposed to go there. Can I cancel that? This must be a new feature. Paint your airport furniture to match your brand. Left print to paint a colorable object choose all right that's cool i have not seen that it must be since the uh, new update that they did looks like our workers are going to work they already got our uh, taxiway entrances and exits put in place unless those are instant uh, we got our two small stands let's go ahead and connect the taxiways now so we go here taxiway foundation high quality and you know what let's do medium quality so it matches go now from there we do need to kind of connect this I guess it should be three by three and let's do a couple more uh, medium quality stands this is gonna take them a couple minutes but there we go Alright, so we got our stands now. So a stand is where an aircraft is going to be parking here. We need to, I think, uh, let's go back to the tutorial and see what they have to say. Build a taxiway path and connect it with the entrance, runway, exit, and all stands. And then we have to build an ATC tower. So we're going to let them build the, those. We'll get an AC, ATC tower. So we got our, our uh, let's see, tower, I think. Oh, there it is, tower. We'll go here. And don't worry, we'll be connecting our roads. So for right now, we're going to put this right here. 
looks like that we have our uh, first and second stand done. I believe now we can go into our aircraft infrastructure and go into taxiway path and we'll choose it to go out of here. And it's gonna go all the way up. We have to wait for it to be built, but we can build our connections. We just have to wait for a little bit more to be built so we can uh, keep connecting our airport. All right, so as you can see, it's getting a little darker. It is to be nighttime, and they completed all of our aircraft stands. They're just working their way up to the uh, runway, uh, taxiway, excuse me, entrances and exits uh, to the actual runway. So we're just going to have to connect all these up. Looks like some guys are starting to work on the ATC tower right now, but it's only one of them because most people are working on the um, taxiways. Just slowly working their way up. thing about airport CEOs it really does kind of let you uh, dig in when it comes to uh, simulating an airport obviously it is a video game so it can't have all the aspects but it tries to incorporate as much as possible such as doing your contracts uh, doing flight scheduling once you get to that point uh, if you get too busy you can have a robot or a uh, website basically do an automated schedule for you uh, but it sometimes can get a little messy and you don't utilize your uh, facilities to the best use But in general, it's a uh, absolutely fun game. I've played this for hours on end before. All right, so we have our taxiways connected. We have our ATC tower built up. Let's see what it says. Open the runway and open the, uh, there we go. So we have to open that. We don't want commercial for right now. Open, close, let's open it. And let's open the tag there and here and here I didn't connect it so I have to connect it with the air with the uh, taxiway path node there we go looks like they're all connected I don't know if I turned there we go now I turned it on Boom, so now we should have up to five general aviation aircraft join in and fly. Airport status indicates the current state. We could do airport closed. Security is disabled because we don't have security. Allow general aviation. If we fast forward to the next day, should fast forward us to the times when those, air those aircraft should start arriving. All right, so it's 4 a.m. now. Our airport is technically open. We're just gonna put the speed on a little bit and see if we can get some aircraft. I forgot, there is a checkbox I can click on that says like automatically accept general aviation aircraft. Forget where it is though. That's the auto scheduler. That's for aircraft. Not the game menu. Got applicants for jobs, but I don't need them. Flight progress monitor. Let's do a little faster and see if there's any aircraft coming in. I think I have what I need if I go back to the tutorial, smaller airfield, 
service five GA flights. I got one, two, three, four, five. We should be good there. We just gotta wait for the airplanes to arrive. So let's just sit back. There's one. All right, he should. He's gonna taxi to his parking gate right there. Looks like he just turned off. I want, don't know why my map isn't working here. It's a Cessna 182 Skylane. Here's number plane number two. Let's go to his parking spot. Let's see, it's another 182 Skylane. He had a little longer of a flight. He came from uh, Hampton Municipal in Hampton, North America, United States. Doesn't say the state, unfortunately. Here came plane number two. Oddly enough, this game is just so relaxing. This guy came from Aurora, which is in Chicago, which is pretty cool. A Cessna 182. We should have two more planes coming in. Here's that, that one. That guy's coming from uh, Decatur County Industrial Airpark. That must be there for some business or here for some business. There we go. Another Cessna 182. And here's the last plane that arrived. Where's he coming from? He's coming from Pitt Greenville Airport. So there we go. We have our five GA aircraft. I think that it's going to do it for the... Uh, nope, we have to actually service them, which means we actually have to uh, wait for them to take off, I believe, before they're technically considered serviced. So let's go ahead and just uh, watch them take off. All right, I'm pretty sure we watched our third, or excuse me, our fifth airport airplane go off. There it is, Service 5 GA, uh, which is General Aviation Flights, and we did that, so awesome. We can scroll down. Now we should build fuel services. So we have to uh, unlock AV Gas 100 LL Fuel Technology. Economy Procurement. Fees, loans, procurement. 100 there we go, we need to unlock that. All right, it's gonna take two hours. So it looks like we just unlocked our AV gas 100 LL. I forget what the LL stands for, but that's the uh, plane fuel for smaller uh, airplanes, uh, which I believe are, um, I don't want to call them propeller airplanes. I think that's they're, it's not turbine though, because turbine is what like a jet engine is. That's jet fuel. So um, a standard airplane engine. That's a... Uh, that's the fuel that these guys take. So I know it burns lighter than gas, technically speaking. It looks like our runway is dropping down a little bit in our condition as well. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, make sure we repair when we needed. But we're going to start doing that now. So here is the uh, road that the, they will take. But we need to get from the public to our private. So 
first what we need to do is build um, a vehicle checkpoint. Here it is. Right and from here, we're gonna go to this. Go all the way as far down as I guess as we can. to build a vehicle depot. Alright, we're just going to watch the contractors go ahead and build the road here first so that we can... Uh, Get our fuel taken care of. All right, so it looks like our road is just about finished and putting the finishing touches, and there is our road. All right, so now from here, we do need to build that vehicle depot, but Don't want to put it right there. But it looks like I'm going to have to. I could put it there, but that's usually where I'd put the fuel. We'll just finagle that side of the... Uh, We'll finagle that side of it. Uh, we did unlock the fuel now, so we should be able to, uh, I think it's going to be airport infrastructure, right? There it is. Yep. Fuel depot, small size is what we'll do. And we'll put it right here. And then we're also going to have to, I believe, get a truck as well for it. Build a vehicle, build a small gas depot. We got that. All right. Uh, I am going to kind of skip the tutorial and buy a truck right away because I know I'm going to need it and it'll just save time. So we'll get the, uh, I think it's just Ford with the J in it to not be copyright. Don't strike me please, YouTube. Um, Ford fuel truck. So we'll do one of them. You do not meet the requirement. Oh, I have to wait for the actual thing to be built. Okay, so let's just fast forward. We'll watch these guys build our vehicle depot and our small fuel depot. All right, they just finished our uh, vehicle depot. Now I believe we should be able to purchase our truck. There it is, so a uh, truck will arrive in 44 minutes. And let's see what the tutorial says. Purchase the truck, sign a contract, wait for aviation fuel to fill up our depot and wait for truck to refill at the fuel depot. Enable it and refuel 5GA flights. So let's go to, over to our uh, offered contracts. We have nature fuel and that's our only people. So let's go ahead and sign it so we get that fuel. And then we will go to the operations and say that refueling is on, but we can't do that until the truck arrives. Oh, we got a new uh, rec a receipt for our Ford truck. And there's the truck itself. 
Looks like it just got bugged. No, it didn't. Okay, it's going to go to the vehicle depot. Or it looks like it's going to go to the fuel location and fill up. All right, it's in the fuel depot. Now we should be able to turn uh, 100 LL refueling. Now these vehicles should hopefully request it. I don't know if they're going to be able to get across. Hey, we thought we could, uh, I hope that that lets them cross. We'll have to see. We're just going to fast forward throughout the night because uh, we have no need to make it during the day. Alright, it's 4 a.m. Let's see if our truck does end up going to free fuel any of these guys. I have a strong feeling that's not going to cross. Ooh, golden opportunity. Pay quick. Looks like spam. Doesn't look like our truck is going to fill anybody up, but looks like we have airplanes landing and yeah, there it is. Make sure it's accessible via roads. How do I make sure it's accessible via roads? They should be able to cross that. Well, we'll have to figure this kink out uh, in the next episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.